Duelisterium. Okay, that's a weird name. Ooh, we got a death watch on our opening hand. I'm gonna keep that for I might not get it back. I'm gonna replace the Primus Shield Master and probably a Soul Shatter Pack because I don't need that now. Cool. And I'm going first, so I'm gonna go forward and cast a Jaxi. And I'll enter. Uh, so depending on what the opponent plays, I might just do a Blood Moon Priestess immediately. He passes without casting anything, which is a weird idea. I might do Blaze Hound. Because that will just benefit me and not both. But he's got to cast something. Um, Gloom Chaser. Okay, Gloom Chaser and an Artifact. So, Jaxi is going to have to... Actually, I'm going to go over here first. Uh, what can I do? So, Jaxi has to get the oh, Mana Spring so I can do a Blood Moon Priestess, like, right... Uh, where's a good position? Right there. Then I'll end turn. So that it um, they can't reach it unless they get like a saber spine tiger. So he's probably gonna cast something on a mana spring maybe. With five cores. Ritual banishing. Uh, that's one way. At least it gave me a Wraithling, so nothing too bad. So he has two cores left, and there's a Mana Spring there. I don't know what he's gonna do. Shiro Puppy Dragon. Get the core, move down, cast Jaxi, or um, kill Jaxi to get a thing. And it spawns in a really good corner. Uh, I five cores, I have to do Ritual Banishing on my Wraithling to kill Shiro, because Shiro's gonna just be a, an annoyance. Uh, what, can I, what else can I do? Oh, I can't move because I already moved. And then I will just do... I guess I'll do my own Gloom Chaser. And swing. Then enter. Ooh, Shadow Watcher. Oh, too bad I can't. I couldn't cast a Death Watch on that turn, otherwise there'll be a lot of deaths in the upcoming turns. So he killed that, which I'm probably gonna do in kind and just kill the Gloom Chaser with my general. Shadow Spawn. So I'll have five. Yeah, I'll have five. He has four cores and three cards, so, so he still has things to play. Let's see what he plays though. Blood Moon Priestess. So that is the thing I have to kill over the Gloom Chaser. Um, so I'll cast a Shadow Watcher here. Bring over the Blood Moon Priestess over. Uh, actually, I'm gonna cancel that. Gonna move over a little bit, then bring him over to the right. And then attack for two. I'll take three, but that's fine. 
This is going to do one damage to the Wraithling. And I can't really do anything else, so we'll just end the turn. To repulse our beast, I might just have to replace one. Like the Gloom Chaser can go there, but then. No, it's just gonna resummon. Fine. <laughs> Can't really uh, do anything against that. I'll probably. Uh, I don't know. It's not. It's, it's uh, not close, but not far. It's unnervingly uh, on the edge. I don't know. Just waiting for that thing that gives everything plus two. I don't know if I'll see that. So I have to uh, replace a repulsor beast. And then probably do a blaze hound. But I guess I'll see what I get after I replace it. Uh, so this mini jacks is going to hit the gloom chaser for sure. And yeah, he's going to spawn more right things, but whatever. I'm gonna replace this. Let's see what I get? Oh, uh, Shadow Dancer. I probably should have uh, attacked first, or uh, replaced first, and then this is just gonna go over here. Uh, this is gonna go down. I'm gonna attack. This is gonna die. It's gonna spawn more, but now you know I get pings. This is gonna die too. So I get to help them do more pings. And we're gonna do a Shadow Spawn. Uh, that's okay. Uh, he probably has another ritual banishing at hand, but uh, we'll see what happens. Shadow reflection. So he replaced, and what did he get? Demonic lure. So he's going to bring the that, and it's probably going to die. Oh, a painful death. So I guess that's fine. I guess. I don't know. And that's gonna trade, that's gonna trade. And he's gonna retreat, so. I really don't know. I'm probably just gonna Shadow Reflection the mini jacks and just ping him. So it forces him to, uh. It forces him to attack. Or it makes this a threat. So. I'm gonna do that. Shadow Reflection. Let's see, I have to remove the gore. But how would I do that? I'll just attack with my. I'll move up and then attack. Um, do. Let's. Yeah, let's do a blaze hound. Yeah, let's do a blaze hound. Let me get our own gore. Um, what else can I do? So I'll just swing for one. An end turn. Prime is Shield Master. So I can kill him in two turns if he doesn't deal with the mini jacks, but he probably have drawn like a way to kill it. Demonic lure, ritual banishing, stuff like that. But he had to replace, so that means probably didn't have a way to deal with that, at least for this turn. Uh, we'll see what he plays. Shadow Watcher, his own Shadow Watcher. He's moving everything over, which is okay, I guess.
right of the undervault, fill to draw your action bar. So that's fine because he won't have anything to cast with zero cores. So I'm kind of fine with that. Yeah, I'm, I'm kind of fine with that. Because he can't cast anything, so... Except he can move. Sand is full. Um, so I'm going to replace Gore because that's pretty useless right now. We got Repulsor Beasts and Primus Shieldmasters. I'm going to move this over, cast the Primus Shieldmaster there. Um, let's do 6 damage to the general. Uh, we can't move. That's... I only have four, so I can't really do double. So let's just move over a space. And then we're just gonna do our Bloodborne spell, and then we're gonna end, or maybe not, because I can. Uh, so I can this still attack? Uh, I think it can still attack. So we're gonna bring this over or here, because I move, but I can still attack. So. The, the enemy Shadow Watcher is going to die. And then I'm going to end my turn. We have our own right of the Underbomb. But um, if the General doesn't deal with the Mini Jacks, then he is 100% certain going to die. If the, it's, gonna game, it's game over for him. But uh, let's see what he does. Yeah, Shadow Nova, that's, that works. Uh, that, that works. Ritual banishing to get rid of my own Shadow Watch. <laughs> this is an interesting game. I'm not gonna lie, this is a really interesting game. So, um, I have to do right of the Undervault. But, uh, let's see what he does. So, the mini Jax is going to die for sure. So, kind of have to roll back and then see what happens. I don't, think I, can, I don't think I can go through that wall of Wraithlings. Or maybe if he opens a path, then maybe. Because he opened a path right there, and then I'll just uh, go down and replace the Repulsor Beast. And see what we get. Demonic Lure. Uh, maybe. But well, we're gonna do right of the Undervault first. Let's see what we get. Uh, no rushers or anything, but. Uh, we'll make do. So we have four cores to do things. Um, let's just... Uh, can't move, so... We'll do our Bloodborne spell. Uh, that's fine. Then we're going to Ritual Banishing, I guess, the bottom one, to kill the Death Watcher. And he really can't summon an another one. Uh, this one's going to go down, and then it's probably going to trade. And then we're going to end turn. Shadow Watcher. Abyssal Juggernaut. So that's a thing I can just demonic lure out. So, okay. Uh, he has three cards in hand and five cores. Um, kinda nervous. And then he's gonna shadow spawn. I'm gonna get hit, which is fine. Uh, 
Wraithling Swarm. I mean, uh, that's fine. Okay. Well, let's see what he does. Can't really do anything with his other Wraithlings. Um, so I'm going to... First things first, Demonic Lure the 7-7 seven, seven to the opposite corner. Um, let's see, I have to replace like a Gloom Chaser or something. We get a Wraithling Swarm. Um, I'm gonna move here just one space and then do a Primus Shield Master. Then I have three cores, I'll do my Bloodborne spell uh, to protect me a little bit. What else can I do? I can cast Jaxie, but I'll I'll cast Jaxie like right there, so the gore will kill it. And then I'll end turn. Ooh, we got a rusher. So if I survive this turn, and if the opponent survives this turn, then for sure he's gonna die. Uh, but we'll see what happens. He has three cards in hand and nine cores. So I don't really know. Cause I don't know if he can. He has a way to deal with the Primus, unless it was just brute forcing it with a two, four, five, and then some random Wraithling. But then he has to give up all his Wraithlings. Cause there's always like a Ritual Banishing or a Demonic Lure, but I don't know. Oh, Repulsor Beast, that's a way. I mean, that, that's, that's fair. <laughs> I'm, just, I'm surprised he has an Abyssal Juggernaut in, in that deck for with a lot of Wraithings, but... Uh, I don't know. That's gonna move over, it's gonna attack me and then do a Bloodborne spell. So I don't think he had a way to kill me because he did if he would have attacked me with the Wraithlings and if he had that thing that gets plus two, he would have casted it already, so I don't know. And in hindsight, he should have casted the Prismatic Illusionist first before doing the Bloodborne spell. So I'm going to just swing at this Wraithling right here, take one damage. And then cast a Saber Spine Tiger, and then just swing for lethal. That was a really good game. Like, it was a, almost a mirror match, but I didn't expect him to have like Shadow Creep Tusk stuff. Um, I enjoyed it. It was, it was really fun. Uh, I didn't really know what to expect. And uh, yeah, just it was a really good game.